This is the new Z-Trap. It comes in white or brown. It's powder coated, ready to go out of the box. It's got a two-way trigger. The springs are very strong, better than any springs I've used on any other of the dog proofs. It's got a washer on here so it doesn't spin when it's in the ground. It's got three swivels. We put extensions on them for to put them on trees. They're quick and easy. Another advantage to the Z-Trap is the spike on it. It doesn't have a spade and you can pre-drill holes in rocks, bridge walls, logs, anything like that. And it goes right in and stabilizes very well and makes it much more versatile on your trap line. It also works great for log crossings. You can drill holes pre-season in them and if you're not allowed to use snares or, or 220s or anything on them you can have that there and just another advantage to the Z-Trap. The new Z-Trap comes in camo brown or visual white. This one would be good for if you got high theft and this one at your private spots. On the new Z-Trap, the lug, this, this helps it stabilize very well in the mud and everything. And you can see the white one and the brown one, how they go in. They go in really easy. They don't, they don't move much at all. They just, they just are there and they're easy enough to get out so the coon's not going to be stuck there with it on his foot like that. But, and you can also see how the white stands out from the brown if you want it, some visual appeal to it. Another advantage to the staking system on the new Z-Trap is it's it's very versatile. You can you can pre-drill pieces of wood if you have real rocky creek, you're out of state or anything like that, and you could you could take that along just a chunk like this or a piece of firewood or anything, and you just throw it over the bridge, go down there, put it in. You can also use a, a bigger rock, but we didn't have a mason bit to do that. But just another advantage to the Z-Trap. We're in a severe drought here, and that's no problem for the Z-Trap. This ground's like concrete. That goes right to the lug there, and that thing's not moving at all there. This is how the Z-Trap is set with the two-way trigger. Just pull the spring in, hook it right there, and then if the coon pulls up, it'll go off, or if he pushes down, it'll go off because that notch right there. I have this quick, quick extension on the Z-Trap already put on. It makes setup very fast. You just put her on the tree, through, cinch it tight, and that's all. Coon ain't going nowhere. And then all we're doing is push this in, down to the lug there, and it's tight. It's ready to go. After we took care of that raccoon, you can see the Z-Trap. There's no, no, not even any scratches really on the, on the trap after after the catch, to the powder coating. Stuff holds up real good. The only the only wear is right there, where the swivel is. That's it. And there was no foot damage at all, and it held them real well. Here's a quick tip. With the Z-Trap, when you get them out of the box, um, the powder coating might be a little heavy on right here on the tip of the dog. Um, you might want to take a file to it and just file it off so it doesn't slip. It's pretty easy to fix the problem. But then here's, we got a situation here where there's not really anywhere to stake it. Or if you had hard ground, you could do the same thing. But you have the pre-drilled wood and then all you do is set your Z-Trap. And then you could have these anywhere. There's two coon trails coming under this bridge. And then just stick that in there. And you got a way to stake your trap here under the bridge. Here's the Z trap after five catches. Powder coat held up pretty well. A little bit of wearing on the end of the dog. And on the swivel, some scratch in there, but not bad after catching five coons. Normal, normal dye and wax or anything, the thing would be bare metal.